Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another what I eat in a day. I'm gonna try and do four this month because I feel like I've been slacking on my what I eat in a day game. Sorry, my cats are going crazy right now, but I feel like I've been slacking on Fendi, what? I do feel like I have been slacking on my what I eat in a day game, so I wanna bring you guys some new awesome recipes I'm gonna definitely try out in this month, a lot of new different things that I'm used to, so that way you guys can come along for the ride and try out some new things too. But today's video has some awesome recipes in it. Where, oh my God, my cat just, he's never done that before. He's never done that before, oh. Oh my god. Anyways, we have some awesome recipes in today's video. I'm gonna start off with breakfast. So yeah, I guess let's just get started because I am very hungry. So here's everything you're gonna need for this recipe. Super simple. I'm gonna start off with a base of a toasted English muffin. I have the multi-grain ones. Then I have spinach. This is my favorite kind of salsa. I get it from Wegmans and it's so good. It's so spicy though, so beware. I have some egg whites right here. This is just a Mexican cheese blend and some onion. All right, so on a low heat, I'm starting off by sauteing a little bit of chopped up onion, and then I also added in some garlic. I forgot to show you guys this, but this is just some little minced garlic in a jar. Added a bunch of that in because I love me some garlic. And I'm just waiting for the onions to get a little bit caramelized. Then we can add in the rest of the stuff. As for the spinach, you're gonna wanna add a ton of this in, or at least as much as you can fit into a handful. So I know this may look like a lot of spinach, but in about a minute, this is gonna shrink down into practically nothing. So definitely don't go light on the spinach because it'll cook down and be virtually nothing at the end. As you can see, the spinach is already cooking down really nicely, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my egg whites. I honestly don't know how much I'm gonna use. So just so you guys know, it says the serving size on here for two whole eggs or two whole egg whites of eggs is a third of a cup. So that's probably what I'm gonna use. I'll measure it out and everything to make sure I don't add too much because I feel like that could easily happen. And the last thing I added in was a little bit of Mexican cheese. This smells amazing, you guys. One thing I just thought of that you could definitely also add into this is mushrooms. If you're a fan of mushrooms, I wish I thought of that earlier because that would have been so good, but it looks and smells amazing as you guys can see and my english muffin just finished so we're ready to go you guys know by now i can't go on eggs without some everything but the bagel seasoning from trader joe's so i'm gonna add a generous amount of this on top as well because this just really transforms anything doesn't this just look amazing okay the last step for me at least is to add a little bit of my favorite spicy salsa on top because this will just give it a little bit of a kick you guys know i love me some spiciness so this for me is like very necessary but if you don't like salsa you could always add some hot sauce or nothing you could add avocado hummus hummus would have been really good if you spread it on the bottom of this before you put the eggs on top but i didn't have any so i'm just going with this all right guys so this is what i'm going to be having for breakfast it smells amazing i cannot wait to eat this right now and then for my fruit on the side i'm also going to have two little cuties clementines because i've been obsessed with these lately this is actually my first time making this as a breakfast but i'm so excited and i know i'm going to be making this all the time now because it's so easy and I know it's gonna be pretty filling so I cannot wait to eat this in probably like two minutes because I'm hungry quick little intermission before I show you guys what we're gonna make for lunch because I wanted to give some appreciation to my boyfriend he actually got me these beautiful roses and then he got me these ones too he got me like I don't even know, maybe like two dozen roses there is in this whole thing. So I cut them into this little pretty vase right here. And then I also have a bunch over 
in this one but okay back to our lunch recipe i'm so excited to try this out you guys know how much i love tacos i will say these are like the americanized tacos but still i just love tacos so much the ones that i make at least i think they're so bomb so we're gonna be making those today but instead of using regular corn tortillas like i normally do i'm gonna try and make them with romaine hearts like kind of as like lettuce wedges just that way we can decrease the calories and get some more greens in so going through the ingredients that I have really quickly we have the romaine hearts I'm gonna add corn into my meat Mexican cheese this is just some lean ground beef I have this is a sauce that Fab's mom gave me and it makes the meat nice and spicy so I don't really know where you can get this she gave it to me but it's so so good banana peppers I've been on a banana pepper kick recently so I have to add those in I have the same salsa that I used from breakfast an onion some garlic an orange pepper and that's it. So that's all I'm gonna be adding to this. Gonna be a pretty quick recipe. The only thing that takes a long time when making these is like the assembly of everything. But I'll show you guys everything. So I guess let's just get started. I think I'm gonna start by cutting up a little bit of the onion and the pepper. Alright, so now that we have all these chopped up, I think I'm going to saute these in the pan first with a little bit of olive oil. Nice and perfect before we add the meat in. So I just attempted to prep my little lettuce um, tacos, lettuce shells. I don't know what I would call this, lettuce wraps, but I've honestly never done this before, so I really don't know if I'm doing it right. Lulu literally loves lettuce. It drives me insane. Anyways, what I did was just wash this lettuce, and then I cut off the ends of it a little bit, and I'm assuming like three is going to be a good serving size for me, and then I can just kind of like, you know, hold them like you would a regular taco, but instead... It's lettuce. I know this is like a really common thing, but this is new territory for me. So that's why I'm like so confused by the whole thing. Over on this side though, the veggies are pretty much all nice and done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the meat right here. I'm gonna add the whole thing and just cook it all so that way I have some leftovers for the week. Okay, also you guys know my obsession with this seasoning. So I'm probably gonna add a little bit of this in if you guys have never used the yellow Goya. Trust me, I forget what YouTuber put me onto this that said it was really good. And then I ended up trying it and I was like, they're so right. So I'm probably gonna add a little bit of this in, but then also Fab and I love the spicy taco. We get this at Wegmans, so I don't know if they have it everywhere, but we just find it in the organic section at Wegmans and it's really, really good. Okay, so embarrassed. I just realized that I forgot to add in my garlic. You guys know I love me some garlic. So I'm gonna mix that up and then I'm also gonna add right now the sauce that Fab's mom gave me. Here's a close up of the label in case you guys, you know, maybe wanna search it and see where you can get it. I really don't know where she finds it. I need to ask her so that way I can tell you guys, but it's so good. And a little bit of this goes a long way and makes everything super spicy so if you like spicy stuff get this because it's kind of like a different type of spice just did the final step which is adding the corn in what i love about this recipe is that it's so simple you literally just throw everything into one big pot and wait for it to cook and everything can just you know it's easy pickup because it's just one pan you don't have to worry about a million different things getting dirty and you can make a ton of this so that way during the week you can always have leftovers and you can easily quickly assemble them if you want like a quick dinner or something. The meat is just finished cooking so I took it off the stove and I have all my lettuce wedges as I showed you guys prepped right here. This is the part where you can add on whatever toppings you want. You could do some sour cream, guacamole, whatever pleases you right now in my fridge this is what i have available so this is what i'm going to use one thing i would add on top of mine if i did have it is some sour cream but what i have is perfectly fine with me so i'm going to add mexican cheese screaming hot salsa and banana peppers okay i am not kidding when i say banana peppers have been the key to my heart recently i could literally just eat this whole jar with a fork i don't know what it is but Lately, I've just been obsessed with them. Honestly, I've been adding them to every single thing that I've been eating recently, and I have no regrets. These are also by Wegmans, and they make them like mild ones and hot ones. So of course, you guys know, 
Love me some spicy, so I get the hot ones. We're almost done. The last and final step is a good chunk of salsa. Oh yeah. Salsa it up. These literally look so beautiful. I was just about to say that I feel like I'm at a restaurant when I'm about to eat this, but maybe that's pushing it a little bit. So here is the finished product of lunch. It looks amazing and it took me honestly maybe 20 minutes to make it all. So such a quick, easy thing. It's also nice because you can kind of add anything that you have in your fridge into this recipe and make it work. Like I just randomly had a pepper in there that I wanted to use up. So that's why I put it in there and it worked out perfectly. I guess I'll also show you guys a close up of how it looks when you're holding it. I will also say that with these, I feel like it's a lot less messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat these and I will check back in with you guys when it's time for dinner. Here's what dinner is looking like tonight. It's finally time for dinner and I will be honest with you guys, I am having unhealthy cravings right now. I am in the mood for buffalo chicken dip so badly, like it's all I can think about. So instead of just like making myself a salad and calling it a day, I know me and myself and I will just continue to think about buffalo chicken dip until I go to the grocery store and make it, unless I come up with a meal that is kind of similar, like gives off a similar taste, but is just a little bit healthier. So here's what I have going on. These are two yams or sweet potatoes honestly think they're the same thing because i just get so confused but they were labeled as yams so we have two yams right here that i'm gonna cook up then we have mexican cheese buffalo sauce a little bit of the devil over here some ranch and two chicken breasts so we're gonna do a really simple stuffed sweet potato my friend kenzie elizabeth i have to give credit where credit is due she actually came up with this recipe or like she showed it to me at least maybe she found it on pinterest or something so i'm not saying that kenzie is like the creator of this but she was the first person who showed it to me and it's really good so first thing i preheated the oven to 400 probably could have gone with like 450 but we're gonna do 400 i actually have to wash these first but after i wash them i'm gonna poke holes in them with forks put them in the oven for probably like i don't know maybe like 30 minutes or so, and then check up on them. They probably are gonna take, honestly, like an hour or so, so keep that in mind if you're gonna make this. So I went ahead, washed these, and stabbed them with a fork a little bit. Did my best to make sure I didn't stab myself. I'm using these pans from Williams Sonoma. I forget if I've talked about these yet or not, but my mom got me these. They are life-changing. If you guys need good pans to cook with, get them because they will literally change your life. And in they go. We're about halfway through cooking the potatoes. They've been in there for about 20 minutes now. So I'm gonna take a knife and attempt to slice them down the middle a little bit so that way they cook a lot faster. So the reason why I said attempt is because my knives are not that sharp. But okay, this isn't as bad as I thought. So since we're actually stuffing them, you don't wanna cut them too deep down like all the way through, just kind of like right about there. They definitely need a little bit more time in the oven, probably about 20 minutes or so. So I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on them, put them back in for 20 more minutes, and then check on them. Chicken is cooking up quite beautifully over here. Smells amazing. Off camera, while the chicken was cooking, I took them off the stove for a little bit and cut them all up into strips. If you want to, you could also always boil your chicken and then shred it, but I just decided to do it this way because this is my favorite way to cook chicken. The potatoes just came out of the oven, nice and freshly done, and I just wanted to show you guys really quickly what you do when they come out. So after you let them cool down for a minute or so, just take your fork and mash them down a little bit so i already did this one and i also when they were in the oven um like halfway through i sliced them a little bit with a knife so that way this process is easier okay i thought it was going to be a lot easier to show you guys but it's really difficult to do with one hand but you get the picture you just kind of take your fork mash it down a little bit get it all nice and soft all right i'm going to assemble everything all together on just one plate even though i'm not going to eat it all so that way it's just less cleanup for me to be honest but i'm gonna go ahead first and add in some chicken definitely made too much chicken but that's totally fine i can easily use some of this in a salad tomorrow now i'm just gonna sprinkle on a little bit of cheese don't go too crazy with this i know it can be tempting next up is my favorite part the hot sauce so don't be alarmed at how much i add 
I really like buffalo sauce, so that's that. Then the last step for this recipe, um, it's optional of course, but I'm adding some ranch and the thing that I did with this, I wanted to talk to you guys about it real quick, is I actually, there wasn't that much left in here, probably about like this much, so I added some water into it and this makes it so much easier because I've noticed with ranch it comes out really thick and it's kind of hard to like just use a little bit because if it comes out thick, like you'll only have ranch in one spot. It doesn't really distribute over everything. So adding a little bit of water into this, I believe Amy Macedo taught me this. It just thins it out a lot. So that way you're not using, or you're using like the same amount, but it just goes everywhere. You're probably honestly using even less. Like how amazing does that look? If you're not into buffalo chicken dip, or buffalo things. This probably doesn't look that good to you. All right, y'all, so I'm in my living room now. I'm about to sit down, eat some of this, and watch a Criminal Minds. I'm so excited. This is like the perfect night for me. But doesn't this just look amazing? I know this isn't the healthiest recipe I've ever shared on my channel before, but what I love about this is it's a healthier alternative to what I was craving. So if I was having buffalo chicken dip, oh my goodness, the way I make it, there would be a whole bag full of cheese in there, like a big bag, a whole pack of cream cheese, a ton of butter, like it just would not be healthy in the slightest bit. So this is the good way, it's kind of like a happy medium of filling that craving but not going overboard. Let me know if you guys make this, shout out to Kenzie for showing it to me, cannot wait to dig in and have my dinner. Hi guys, excuse my pimples, my crazy eyelashes, and my crazy hair, but I was just editing this video and I realized that I never filmed in outro it's like midnight and i'm like oh my gosh i didn't film an outro for this video so here i am filming it for you guys um thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and my channel it means so much to me you guys have no idea make sure to like this video if you guys want to see more of these and subscribe here if you're new and turn on my notifications so that way you don't miss any of my uploads because i love uploading on here and also check out my main channel molly's life if you want to see more lifestyle videos and also my boyfriend actually just started his own fitness channel i don't know if by the time i'm uploading this if he's gonna have any videos up yet but i'm helping him with everything if you guys are a male viewer or if you're just a female viewer that likes fitness and working out and anything that is involved with that definitely check out fab's channel because i'm going to be helping him with it and he's really excited about it so i'm excited for him so make sure to go subscribe when i'm filming this he's almost at like 200 subscribers and i really want to get him to like a thousand so go check out his channel yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for supporting me and my life it means so much and i will talk to you guys in my next video very soon Bye.